Hi, I'm Nick Cox. This is Thunder Bay. Today, we're going to be doing a cooking segment with our Harvest Pork Chop. This is a great fall item, and we're very proud of this dish. What we're going to do first is we're going to add a little bit of our extra virgin olive oil to our pan, add in all of our fresh produce that we have. So we do have our mushrooms. These are button mushrooms, red onions. I always prefer the red onions. They generally seem to give it a little bit more color, and in this sauce, I find that very important. And I always like to use these cherry tomatoes, a big seedy tomato. It's always got a little bit more juice than I prefer to use when I'm making a sauce like this. Next, we'll add just a little bit of salt and pepper. You can sear that sizzle. Everything's working just fine. At this point in time, is we're going to add in our smoked pork chop. Now, this has already been pre-cooked in our smoker. So you can see that we've already actually cooked it all the way through. We want to bring up the heat from it, and we also want to get the juices from the pork chop to be cooked along with the uh, vegetables. Once again, a little salt and pepper onto that pork chop. After we get our pork chop nice and hot, and we get some of the juices into that, we're going to add in our demi-glaze. Demi-glaze is kind of like a ch uh, beef stock or a gravy, and uh, we're going to add that in along with the vegetables, and you can kind of hear that simmer. We're going to wait till that reduces down a little bit. All right, as you can see there, we've got all the caramelization from the pan. We also have a nice boiling point going on. We're gonna let it reduce down just a moment longer. And in that meantime, while I let that reduce down, we're gonna cut off our garnish. We actually use a green onions, so we wanna chop those up. And we're gonna top off that pork chop. We'll finish that off with our garnish. And this is our signature harvest pork chop. Wonderful for any time of year. I'm Nick Cox. And this is Thunder Bay. We'll look forward to seeing you soon.